The night before the first bow hunt in Texas. I mean, how hard could it be? I bow hunted all my life. The humbling experience of bow hunting Texas for the first time. <laughs> Being new to the state, I had no idea the challenges that I faced ahead. After all, I had been bow hunting for a very long time, many years. This bow hunt started like any other bow hunt, especially when you're looking at public land. I did my best to scout via Onyx to locate areas, more specifically to eliminate more than 80% of the areas of this new public hunting area. I went out on foot and scouted, confirming that the areas that I'd picked out were actually good locations, located deer sign, but some of the struggles started because it had not rained in Texas for almost 100 days. Here in deep east Texas, that's highly unusual. So the sign that I was finding, it was obscure at best. Not knowing for certain how long it had been there. How long ago was it that this deer traveled through here? What were some of the other challenges that I would face next? I had never thought about in my entire life. I couldn't tell you how many years it's been since I've hunted the first part of October, and never in my life have I been afforded the opportunity to hunt the last part of September. So day one turned into a mini adventure, all in itself. Starting with wearing orange, I was not used to that. And then the next thing that I immediately noticed, every time I shifted in my saddle, my new little chest rig that I was so excited to get was making a clicking noise. The next thing that I noticed, I'd forgotten my arm guard. Who does that? I mean, how does that even happen? In Oklahoma, the wind is always blowing. That really helps you when you're trying to stalk in nice and silently. Here in Texas, we've had no rain and the wind's not blowing. I need something else that can help me quietly make it to my stand location. One of the next things I noticed after making it to my stand, my 25 year old release is starting to squeak. That ain't gonna work either. I had spent many hours on Onyx locating areas where the acorn should be. I was also specifically looking for anywhere there was mixed oaks. This takes a great deal of time. However, I'm thankful that Onyx has this on their app. I would call day one a success. At the end of the day, I'd already figured out several things that I needed to make adjustments to. This is gonna help me for the next time we go hunting here. The next morning started out exciting. Got up in the stand way before daylight and I could hear movement. I could hear something getting closer and closer. I just knew this was gonna be another productive morning. And it absolutely was if you like seeing raccoons. Man, it was fun. Man, it was exciting. They got my heart going. I'm not gonna lie. It's just part of the fun. The rest of this morning hunt was uneventful. Absolutely beautiful and majestic. If you've never been out towards Caddo Lake, it's an indescribably beautiful area.
We are now getting closer to mid-October. This is going to be an evening hunt. I've changed locations, and I'm walking out to a new area. We're getting closer. During this evening hunt, I actually could hear a couple of deer blowing downwind. That is some of the most encouraging sounds I'd heard for the last couple of weeks of making this hunt out here. My buddy had just texted me. He's hunting about 500 yards away from me to the east. He said he had just had two does walk in on him. The hunt is looking up. But I had no idea what to expect next when we were to meet up that evening at dark. I've made two changes to my hunting this year. The last several years I've been hunting with a longbow and a recurve. This year I switched back to my old Matthews switchback. I also started hunting with a friend from church. That was the friend that I just mentioned who texted me and said that he had seen a couple of deer. We had made a decision when we split up that night that we were going to meet back near this old creek at dark. When dark got here, I waited and I waited and nothing, no other hunting had prepared me for this. My buddy was missing. He eventually was able to get a text to go through that said, come find me. He had switched positions and I had no idea where he was. Just something to think about if this ever happens to you. Following my morning hunt, I did a light scouting. I was blessed to see a nice young buck, although he wouldn't actually be one that you could harvest. It was fun to see him either way. There's a little buck going through the woods right there. Let me see if I can get him in sight. Wrapping up the first bow hunting season of Deep East Texas. I can honestly say I've learned a lot. It's been a wonderful experience. Everything from seeing new areas of the world to hunting close to the natural cypress forest in Deep East Texas. Hunting around an immense amount of hogs and getting to hunt in this majestic cypress forest has been not only rewarding, but also a learning curve. I've learned a great deal out here and I've been humbled as we wrap up this initial bow season in Deep East Texas. I wanna say it's been an amazing, an amazing learning experience. I've loved it, I've learned a lot, and I can't wait until December. We're fixing to pack up and head out of state to go do some bow hunting in the month of November back in Oklahoma. I hope you all have a successful season, and I hope that you all can get outside and make something happen. Ooh. <laughs>